So we can also impact this uh, resupination phase of the gait cycle uh, with just an exercise and on our feet too. We don't have to necessarily use the rocker board all the time. If we simply just take our center of mass, the knee goes forward, hips, shoulders stay tall, chest comes over top of the foot, and my whole momentum is taking me forward just as I would when I'm walking or running. Everything's staying tall. I'm moving forward, not down, to the point to where I'm on my forefoot, I'm on my big toe. I'm still trying to splay the toes. I'm not trying to scrunch the toes down or claw the feet. And the heel will start hovering off the ground. You'll notice the Achilles working really hard in that position. You also may notice your quad, hamstrings, maybe even a little bit of a glute kick on. Um, but we're using the whole leg to access that forefoot, access the big toe, start resupinating, and prepare us for that propulsion phase of the gait cycle and that resupination. So that's what it looks like from the front, from the side view. Again, the biggest thing to just note is how far forward my knee is going, my hips, chest, sternum, center of mass is moving to eventually where uh, my heel is rising off the ground and everything's being supported by my plantar fascia gastroc soleus complex here. And uh, all of my weight is pretty much on this front leg. This back leg is more or less just a kickstand. That's just helping me balance so that I can own this position and get control of that position, learn the position, so it becomes second nature in the gait cycle.